Hey guys, how's it going? It's Joe here. Thanks for visiting my channel. I hope that you can uh, subscribe to my channel. Please click on the link below. And uh, make sure that you click on the bell so that you get any notifications uh, for any new videos that I produce and post on YouTube. Today's video, I want to go over my insight on why is it taking Costco so long to change its cafeteria food and this has been a something that I've been contemplating for years now and uh, probably you as well I've been contemplating why Costco is still serving the same old you know processed sausages hot dogs pizza fries poutine ice cream pretty much all of the casual or uh, mainstream junk food that you'd find at every corner and every, at every block. Now, I'm uh, a loyal customer at Costco and uh, I've been going to Costco for 18 years now, but uh, more now I go shop at Costco because they've been offering more and more certified organic products from fruits and vegetables to eggs to uh, cleaning products, eco-friendly cleaning products. They as well offer a lot of variety in terms of like rice, quinoa, and some preserves, such as um, some canned items that are still certified organic, um, berries, nuts, salts, spices. So I'm really impressed in that direction that Costco is taking to add on more certified organic products not to forget the breads that they've been offering by stone, stone mill and uh, i really like the, the idea that the breads that are being offered are made with certified organic ingredients some are certified organic and non-gmo certified and some of these breads are being fermented which is a great idea to uh, incorporate uh, into the bread is the process of fermentation and how glyphosate actually is uh, broken down in the process of fermentation with the yeast there's many there's studies out there I'll try to post a link to that study that I was reading uh, not too long ago on how uh, I believe it was a German study on how uh, Saccharomyces cerevisiae the yeast um, bread yeast was able to break down glyphosate to approximately 80-90% uh, decrease in its content so, which is great 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 to see that more breads are being incorporated and that they are fermented but I'm not too sure why it's taking too long for the, uh, the incorporation of healthier options in the food items that Costco is serving on your way out now, me as a father and I have two kids, my wife, we're trying to become uh, more and more, you know, um, clean in, our, in the food that we eat because we've seen so, so much health benefits on my side, my child, children's side, and also in my, uh, you know, my immediate family. I've seen extreme health benefits to converting to organic, certified organic uh, meats, dairy, and um, fruits and vegetables from quality perspective, from a taste perspective, from a health uh, standpoint as well. Now, this is a video I'm trying to, you know, just try to put some light into bringing this thing out more where I think Costco needs to start incorporating more healthier items, maybe include like a curry dish or, um, you know, more salads, maybe uh, some, a, a healthier salad with some olive oil dressing and uh, balsamic vinegar possibly um, maybe some soups but this conventional processed sausages pizzas I know it's fast but even th those can be modified in a way to become healthier maybe a gluten free or even um, uh, a certified organic dough with you know some mixed vegetables uh, on or, or not more uh, or more or less removing those processed meats from the from the pizzas uh, that they offer 
and this deli sandwiches that they're offering, there's other alternatives that we can incorporate for our children and for the people that go there, seniors as well, health on the healthier side. Um, so we'll, what do you guys think? You know, give me uh, some insight. What is your perspective? Do you think that Costco, maybe on the short term or long term, should eventually start to incorporate more healthier options, uh, such as, you know, uh, more certified organic salads, soups, um, healthier options, maybe uh, gluten-free wraps. There's now new wraps that can be made with coconut flour, uh, a little bit more costly, but at least you're getting away from the gluten and, and as well as from the carbs. Um, there's other options that we can incorporate as well. A nice homemade certified grass-fed sirloin burger. Uh, made with for example a gluten-free bun or with a thinner bun and you know th there's other options that can be incorporated at Costco which are healthier which are tastier and uh, also would uh, bring more and more people to to eat at the Costco location as they're on the way out because I can frankly say that many people just avoid it they don't go there anymore it's crowded a lot of times but other than that, they don't go there because of the food, right? You know, how many times can you eat a pizza? How many times can you eat sausages? And what is their potential uh, out, out, uh, outcome on the long term? We all know the studies are out there on processed meats in Delhi, nitrites, nitrates, ice cream, you know, the thickener, the polysorbate 80, um, conventional dairy. So many things that are incorporated in those foods that putting a question mark in people's minds on the long term. So I think if Costco, you know, incorporated, say, a nice homemade curry dish or uh, some organic certified organic salads, uh, maybe following more of a ketogenic diet or a paleo diet, um, I think more and more people would stop there at Costco. And actually, it would, they, it would be more, um, that'll bring in more people to sign up at the Costco location. I'm not saying take away the pizzas or pasta pizza or sausages but incorporate two or three more items that are for the health conscious certified organic and I bet you they're they're, they're at least their um, retention or customer retention of people that, that would sign up to their to their to their membership would increase by 15 20 percent at least uh, and that's just taking it um, maybe on this on the lower end but uh, let me know, guys, in the comments, bro, what, what, comments below. What do you think? Do you think Costco should modify their food items on the way out of the uh, ch cash? Um, what should they incorporate, in your opinion? What items would you like to see, maybe at Costco? And uh, maybe this this will be like a turning point for people for Costco to uh, incorporate some more healthier options, certified organic uh, uh, items, drinks as well, because all we see there is sodas and pops. Maybe they can offer kombucha. Maybe they can offer like a homemade lemonade um, made from fresh lemons, lower on the sugar content. Let me know what you think. Thanks for following my channel. Please like and share if you like this video. And I'd like to hear your comments and reply back to you. Take care and God bless. Thank you.